What if I actually get absolutely blasted from this? <laughs> oh, I need some chapstick too. Vegas, was that necessary? Okay. Smoke weed every day. Whatever. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. So, I thought it'd maybe be fun if we started this new series on my channel. Well, I don't know if this will actually become a series. Or if this is just a one-time thing. <laughs> but I thought it'd maybe be fun if we started like a stoner Mythbusters type series, you know? Because I feel like there's definitely a lot of myths or maybe things that actually work out there that involve smoking and cannabis and stuff like that, you know? One of those things being mangoes. There's this whole thing out there about how mangoes can possibly enhance your high. And I don't know if that's necessarily true. I've never tested it out or anything. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I got some stuff to make a mango smoothie because personally I love mango smoothies. I was just going to go out and buy one from a coffee shop but I was like no I should make one with the bestie buds. So that's what we're gonna do. Make a homemade smoothie sesh and see if it enhances my high. I was originally gonna try out these mango caps. They're supposed to be these little capsules you can take that are supposed to provide endocannabinoid system support. Like they're literally just little capsules. I was gonna try these out to see if these actually work because I've gotten some DMs from y'all saying that you've tried these out. But personally, I'm a little scared to take them just because because of the ingredients. It says do not use if you are allergic to anato nuts or essential oils. I don't know what anato Anato? I don't know what that is. And also, I don't think you're supposed to consume essential oils. So I'm gonna pass on the mango caps and we're just gonna make an actual mango smoothie because we'll know that there's actual real mangoes in there. I don't even know if there's actual like mango substance in there. <laughs> I guess we should talk about too, like the science behind this or whatever. I don't think there's been actual any like scientific research on this, but there's some articles about it. So let's go on Google. So based off of everything I've read and have been told. I'm pretty sure the main idea behind this for why people think that mangoes can enhance your high is because mangoes contain mycerine, I think is how you say it. Let me check. Mericine. Mericine. Uh, I'm just gonna go with that. Mericine. Mangoes contain mericine, which is a terpene that can be found in some bud. This bud that I actually have right here is perfect because it lists the terpenes and mericine is one on there. So this is the bud we're gonna be smoking with today. But this article says mango and mericine. To refresh your memory, cannabis strains are more than just cannabinoids. There are many compounds including terpenes. Terpenes are responsible for the characteristic aroma and flavor of each cannabis strains and are believed to have medical and psychoactive effects. Mango has a terpene in common with cannabis, which is myrcene. Myrcene provides a fruity and earthy taste and smell, and additionally, it is one of the most abundant terpenes in many varieties of marijuana and probably influences the effects produced by these plants. Like I said, though, I don't think there is any actual, like, scientific research behind this. It's sort of just a theory that's out there, I think. Right here it says, although there are no conclusive scientific studies on the subject, some experts in the field claim that mangoes could have a po- why can I not read? Potent, po, po, potent, I don't know what the fuck that word is. Could have a more potent effect. Let's go with that. On the cannabinoids present in cannabis. But do mangoes really get you higher? No study has specifically looked at the effects of combining cannabis and mangoes in humans. However, we can draw conclusions from research looking at the interaction of myrcene with cannabinoids such as TH. Should you consume mango before or after smoking marijuana? It is recommended that you consume the fruit about 45 minutes before smoking as this is the time it takes for the body to metabolize the nutrients in mangoes and cause myrcene levels to increase. So that means we should just get on it. Go make a mango smoothie. I'm cold though. I need a sweatshirt. And I'm probably going to get even more cold if I'm going to be drinking a smoothie. I'm excited for this though. I've been wanting to make homemade smoothies for a hot minute and I just haven't gotten the ingredients to do it, but I finally did for this video. So let's go make a smoothie. Okay, let me find the mango recipe that I found the other day. Okay, I need two cups of frozen mango. How much is in this bag? There's three cups in here, so pretty much all of this mango. 
I know so many people out there don't measure things, but I personally am not one of those people. I can't eyeball shit to save my life. Oh my god, this smells so good. This smells like summer. I wanted to get like actual mango today with y'all too, but I couldn't find any. Well, did I actually look? Actually, no, I'm lying. I didn't really look for mango. I got my smoothie ingredients and then forgot to look for actual mango to eat. Okay. Two cups of frozen mango. Damn, hopefully this tastes good. I didn't even consider if this was gonna turn out bad or not. One small frozen banana or half of a large banana you can use unfrozen if using frozen. Good, because my bananas are not frozen. It says one small frozen banana or half of a large banana. Is this a small or large banana? I don't know, I'm just gonna use the whole thing. This is gonna be like a banana mango smoothie. That was weird. Half a cup of milk. Y'all know how you're supposed to like smell your milk to make sure it's good or not? I absolutely hate the smell of milk, so I like don't know whether it's ever good or not. People are always like, you can really tell if milk is bad. But I'm like, it always smells like shit to me, so I don't know. And then half a cup of yogurt. Got some Chobani Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is honestly so gross looking. Like it's good, but looks like shit. This doesn't seem like enough liquid. I think this is gonna be like a really thick smoothie. And now we just blend? Yikes. All right, let's do this thing. Get down there. Oh, this is definitely a thickums. A thickum smoothie. Mmm, it kind of tastes like an orange Julius. Like when orange Juliuses were actually good, you know? And I think it's all blended up. Damn, this looks... Mmm, mmm, that's good. Put it in one of my cute Ikea cups. Oh, this is really thick. <laughs> it's like a smoothie bowl. I know when you use frozen fruit, it turns into a thicker smoothie. Oops, I'm making a mess. No. Yeah, this is thick as fuck. This is like a full on smoothie bowl. It totally tastes like an orange Julius. Oh my god, and there's so much more left. This is like a smoothie for two people. Okay, well, can I drink it? It's pretty good. Like, damn, okay. This is good, too. It for real reminds me of orange Julius. What am I supposed to do with the rest of it, though? Shit. Wish somebody was home so I could share it with them. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I'm actually so hyped about the smoothie. I wish I had a different straw. That doesn't look cute. But for real, I've always wanted to make a homemade smoothie and my first one turned out so good. And it's like really thick. It says to wait about 45 minutes though. And it's 11.30 right now. So at 11.15, we're gonna sesh. I'm gonna be so, so for real with y'all too. I don't think this is gonna work. Y'all may be like, oh my God, Jacqueline, why are you doing this? <laughs> Cause like I said, I think it'd be fun to do like a stoner Mythbusters type of series. And this is where we're starting. <laughs> Honestly, like a lot of these like stoner myth things, I don't really believe in, but it's fun to test them out and really see for myself instead of just making assumptions. But yeah, I'm gonna drink my smoothie and we'll check back in in 45 minutes. All right, it's been about an hour. I finished my smoothie. I wish I had it here to show y'all, but it's back in the sink. It's actually been a little bit over an hour because as I was sipping it, I was thinking, well, it needs like 45 minutes to set in. So as I was like, need a little bit longer, you know, not making any sense, but it's time to sesh and see if I feel any more high than I usually would. I want to smoke out of a big bongo too. I've got my eyes on one. I haven't even smoked out of this piece yet. Got my big pink beaker bong from Everything 420 and shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Everything 420 is an online site that has all of the 420 themed stuff. <laughs> They've got bongs, papers, wraps, pre-rolls, edibles, cartridges, all legal hemp products. They pretty much have it all. They even have like a whole 420 shop where everything is $4.20. They're also running a huge sale right now for 420 come in So definitely go check them out. They have fast discreet shipping out of Texas. They even have an app that's a lot more user friendly and y'all can use my code Green Mama for 15% off your order. They're great, have amazing products, but just a heads up too. They don't have huge inventories of their products. So if you see something on their site that you want, you should get it. I wouldn't wait if I were you because there's a chance that somebody might snatch it up. But hey, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But yeah, again, thank you to Everything420 for sponsoring this video. So let's just get to it. I'm gonna fill up the piece.
I've gotten so out of the habit of using big bongs that whenever I do now, sort of a shock how heavy and big they are, <laughs> especially once the water's in them. And it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this beaker bong from Everything 420 does have like a pink accent up here. Not an accent, I guess. Like half of it is clear and then half of it is pink, which I love. So cute and girly. Back to the mango theory though, if it actually gets you more stoned or not. Like I said, the whole theory behind this is the the terpene that's in mangoes, which is myrcene, I think. And this strain right here that I have, Oro Blanco, contains myrcene in its terpenes. Or that's one of the terpenes it contains, I guess. So we're gonna smoke some Oro Blanco and see if I notice a difference at all. This new grinder that I'm using too is also from Everything 420. I like it, but the chambers are just a little interesting. So I do have to say it's probably not my most favorite grinder I've ever used, but it is nice and it gets the job done. But like I said, said the chambers are just a little weird have the main chamber up here to grind stuff obviously so let me put my butt in there it grinds up really nice and smooth but then unlike a regular grinder where like you would twist this part down here and then take it off the whole top part comes off like that and then you have this little thing right here holding up all your grinded bud and then the keef catcher is underneath there so it's just a little different than like a regular grinder and i honestly haven't had like any problems with it yet but i can eventually see this possibly getting stuck but i mean if i just keep it clean then that probably won't happen <laughs> but i'm not the best at keeping my grinders clean everything 420 also has a bunch of accessories like grinders rolling trays extra bowls and down stems you can buy like for they have everything Got my bowl loaded though. And this is gonna be my first hit of the day too. And usually the first hit of the day gets me really going. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess we'll see if it gets me going a little bit more than usual. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to stand up to take this. All right, I'm gonna take it right here. I wanna know why I ever stopped using big bongs on the regular. Besides them being a lot to clean, like this makes me feel cool. All right, let's see if I feel any more high than I usually would after having that mango smoothie if i don't well then oh well cheers Why did that first strip make my allergies just go crazy? <coughs> okay, okay. First strip. I just took it, so I don't think I can say a lot. But I'm not noticing anything too crazy compared to when I usually take my first hit of the day, you know? It feels kind of like it always does. <coughs> Glad to be stoned, though. It's Friday. First hit of the weekend. Woo! Ooh, I feel like that mango smoothie is kind of gonna hurt my tummy. <laughs> Something about consuming a lot of fruit in the morning and it just isn't a good combo for me. <coughs> Oof, not me going back to this article and it says, also, it is important that you choose a ripe mango and eat it in its natural form as processed juices and smoothies may contain preservatives that could reduce the desired effects. I made it like homemade though with like frozen mango. That can't change it too much, right? Uh, I don't know, but I also went on my TikTok and I made a TikTok saying that I was doing this video and I wanted y'all's thoughts on whether you think this is a real thing or not. And a lot of y'all were actually saying that you do think this is a real thing. Some of y'all were saying it might just be placebo, which I think I might be on that train. But some of y'all were also saying that it might possibly work and also just like other forms of vitamin C. Or is it D? I think vitamin C. Somebody commented that drinking like those vitamin C packets, I think it's vitamin C. Ah! Yeah, like the emergency. Yeah, that's what they're called. Like drinking emergency and then like smoking can enhance your high. I think it has something more to do with vitamin C, if anything, but there's like no real scientific backing of this. It's all just for funsies and just our own personal experiment. Well, fuck, actually, the more I'm talking to y'all, I'm starting to think like, Am I feeling a little bit more? <laughs> what I do know is though, what I do know is though, what I do 
Do you notice though? Is that I think I need to start making more homemade smoothies because that one was really good. I just don't know if I'd want like a mango banana smoothie every day. Like I'd probably enjoy more of like a mixed berry type of smoothie. So I think I should get some mixed berries. Like damn, did I just like figure out the code to a smoothie? Just like some frozen fruit, a banana, milk, and Greek yogurt. Like did I just figure it out at the ripe age of 23? Also, I don't know what's wrong with me, but ever since I turned 23 back in February I've been thinking that I'm 24 I don't know why I'm like forgetting my age but I have to like keep reminding myself that I'm not fucking 24 what the fuck 23 just like doesn't sound like a real number I hate odd numbers so maybe that's why okay honestly like I don't know if it is placebo or if I'm feeling the mango I think Tanner and I might go to Olive Garden for lunch too. So like, what if it kicks in more? Like what if it, what if the full effects aren't even here yet? What if it kicks in more and then I'm at Olive Garden just like, hold up. Is this my high pose? I guess so. What the heck is on my sleeve? A stain? What the fuck? I just washed this. <laughs> Guys, I think it might work a little bit. <laughs> like, it's hard to tell because it's my first hit of the day. But that's how I wanted to do it, too. Like, I didn't want to smoke and then do the mango. Vegas. I didn't want to smoke and then have the mango and then smoke again because I felt like it wouldn't have worked as good that way, you know? But I don't know. I'm going to take another hit, too, which is going to really amp it up. I mean, that always amps everything up. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, can other foods enhance the effects of marijuana? Cloves, truffles, carrots, and brassicas brassicas what the fuck is a brassica brassica it's in the cabbage and mustard family i recently just discovered chapelle roan is that how you say their name i'm a new fan but love their music i should pose for a thumbnail let's pretend i have a mango in my hand is it placebo or is it the mango? But I'm just jumping from subject to subject. I went from Chappelle. Is it Chappelle or Chappelle? I think I just said the same word twice. All right, this one from talking about a new singer that I like though, to posing for a thumbnail. Huh. Oh, I'm loading another bowl. During my little break too, when I was drinking my smoothie, I started listening to, or not listening, watching the Just Trish podcast episode from yesterday featuring Tana. I'm an hour and 33 minutes in and i'm loving it i love how long her podcast episodes are it's wonderful i've been filming for 26 minutes now and i guarantee like 20 minutes of the footage has just been me sitting here just like because i'm stoned that was one hit too one bongo rip did I even tell you guys how the bongo ripped? I think I forgot. <laughs> Cause that was my first hit off of this bongo and it was really nice. I had to remind myself that since it's a bigger piece, I kind of have to <laughs> chug a little harder than I would. I'm like a more medium sized piece, you know? Is my hair not even parted down the middle? How did that happen? Ay ay ay, has it been like that the whole video? Okay. Honestly, buds, I think I'm gonna come to my own conclusion that this does sort of work. Like, honestly, like, the longer I'm sitting here, this high is definitely, like, I'm so bad at describing things. Like, it's really annoying. <laughs> but I would say it's almost more heavier than, like, it would be compared to my first hit of the day without having the mango, you know? Heavy sounds kind of negative. Like, I guess stronger, but that, I don't think that's the word I necessarily want to use. But I think that is. I don't know. Oh, and I don't even know if I did it properly either because it says to have fresh ripe mango, which I did not. <laughs> but it was still a homemade mango smoothie, so I don't know. But it could all just be in my head too. So if y'all have tried this out, I want y'all to let me know down below. I want to know y'all's thoughts. Or even if you haven't tried it out and you're just skeptical, let me know. Because <laughs> I definitely was going into it. I still am, but I'm also low-key kind of thinking it does work now after trying it out. But it could all be in my head too, so who knows? We are going to take another hit though, because that's what we do over here. <laughs> we take big rips out of cute bongs. <laughs> Let me get in position. Okay, right next to the weed card. Cheers, buds. Oh my gosh, why is this happening to me? And I can feel a hair stuck to my lip. Oh, now cheers, buds. Laptop, no.
That was a bad cloud. Oh my god. <coughs> Okay, guys, I do honestly think this kind of works. Like, I'm gonna test it out more, but initial thoughts, I honestly think it kind of works. But like I said, let me know your thoughts down below. <coughs> I want to know what y'all think. I'm gonna go, though, get some fettuccine alfredo and breadsticks. <laughs> Be sure to go check out everything 420. Don't forget, you guys can use my code GREENMAMA for 15% off your order, and they're having a big 420 sale right now. So go check them out. And let me know if y'all have any other, like, stoner, mythbusters type things y'all would want me to try out if y'all get what i'm saying by that <laughs> but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video i love y'all so much stay safe make your choices cheers your loved ones and i'll see y'all in my next one bye vids